All right, so we uh, just finished up day one of the Mike Hubbard trial. Uh, we talked earlier about the prosecution's opening argument, and we got to hear the defense opening argument and the first two prosecution witnesses. Uh, first, John, what was your impression of uh, Bill Baxley's opening argument? Well, I mean, it was interesting. I, I did get the profound feeling that, it, uh, that I, same feeling I had when I was watching my kids when they were little do a piano recital, and it's like, you're like, Oh, oh, and then, oh my God, what can, where can this go? Well, there's this moment where he has a napkin, a paper napkin. Now, I looked over at the prosecution table, and there seemed to be plenty of notebooks, plenty of paper that they had there. But Bill Baxley has notes on a napkin in front of the jury. Was that, was that a prop? Was that? Yeah, that was a prop. Uh, and prosecutors made this clear. Uh, how did no work as a media buyer? He took the check for $1,000 put it in his bank account and would write a $950 check to Hubbard's companies. And that was the extent of their work. So they just right. ripped off the Republican Party for the sake of being a pastor. I mean, that's, right. that's what I got out of it. 5% extra fee for hiding the, the ultimate source of the money. Uh, another thing that was really interesting to me is they talked about the Alabama Pharmacy Cooperative Group, which paid Hubbard, I believe, 10000 a substantial amount of money a month um, and there was a night in which Hubbard uh, was going to vote on the state on the budget that had language in it that would have affected Alabama Pharmacy Cooperative in a substantial way so he found out that night that um, Hubbard was being paid by the pharmacy cooperative and it, it made everybody in the firm realize oh my goodness we're is some trouble here. He said it raised ethical questions for everybody. They had an emergency meeting in the speaker's office. Um, the speaker eventually voted on the bill, voted yes for the bill, although the language was later taken out in a, in a conference. But uh, it, it was a it was a pretty important moment. We have pretty clear testimony and evidence that Mike Hubbard did instruct the Alabama GOP to send money to companies that he was involved in, and we have him. Uh, voting on issues for which he was uh, paid. Um, and now it's going to be up to Baxley to convince the jury that it's just business as usual. So that's it for day one. Uh, we got through it. Didn't have a plea agreement. All those 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 rumors that were going around out there never happened. Uh, this trial is expected to go on from three to five weeks. Uh, follow AL.com and you can follow the trial coverage here. And tomorrow's uh, going to be a good one as former Hubbard Chief of Staff Josh Blades, uh, one of maybe the most important witnesses in this bit, takes a stand. Thanks for watching and uh, 